everyone in this project we are going to make one robot arm so let's do check and see which component do we need so as you could see here we actually use three servo motor we have one here one here and the third one is here we have one joystick and we have our cortex m microcontroller which is here the texas instrument tvc series which has the cortex m microcontroller and also we use the ice cream sticks for making our arms as you could see here we have actually plenty of them here so let us see how the arm works so as you could see here i have a joystick whenever i move the joystick on the x-axis i'm able to control um, the arm in 0 to 180 so whenever i push in this direction it's go to the uh, 90 to 180 whenever I go to the opposite of direction in the x-axis it's able to turn between 90 to 0 so see whenever I'm moving the joystick on the x-axis I'm able to turn that turn the arm 0 to 180 so if you move the joystick in the y-axis so as you could see here you could actually control the other section of your arm so this is actually the y-axis and whenever you push the sticker so as you can see whenever you push and release it's able to actually grab any object that you want so let's test it with the object so let I try this I put here I catch the object so as you can see under the load it's able to again turn around you could actually move that to any direction that you want and finally if you to see if we could release that here so as you can see it's able to actually release the object so let's to check the codes and the circuit diagram and see how we could make this project so let's to take a look to the circuit diagram so as you could see here this is our TWAC series this is our microcontroller we have three servo motor we label that one two and three so also we have our joystick so as you could see the joystick has three uh, main pins which is one for x one for y one for z z is for whenever you push the joystick it give actually zero in this pin otherwise it has a number around four three thousand so X and Y again is the value that you get from uh, the X axis. So whenever the joystick is in the middle in the X pin, you have almost around uh, around 2000. So whenever you push on the left, you get 2000 to zero. Whenever you push on the right, on the right side of the joystick on the X axis, you get 2000, almost 4096. So almost similar thing for the y-axis whenever it is in the center in the y-axis on joystick so the number is around 2000 so whenever you push from center to the north that means to the forward on the positive y-axis so it gets to 2000 to 4096 so whenever you push down backward which is give you 2000 to zero so if you don't know how joystick work please uh, watch our recorded video interfacing the joystick with the TWAC series launchpad which I explain how joystick works so here we connect the X to the PD0 the Y to PD1 and uh, and the Z to PD2 so definitely it has the ground and the VCC which should be connected to the ground and VCC of your launchpad so the servo motor usually has uh, three wires black red and white so the black is the ground connect to your ground the red is the vcc connect your uh, vcc which is here 3.3 volt we connect to the launch pad and the white is the, the pins that you got the signals or pulse with modulation so the white or signal pins connected to the pf1 so the same story for the second servo motor, the ground VCC and the signal connect to the PPPF2 and the third the servo which is the servo that you grab the objects so it's actually signals connect to the PF3 so 
and the ground and VCC connect to the ground and VCC of the circuit, which is the all connected to the 3.3 volt and also ground of your uh, launch pad. So as you could see, this shows our circuit diagram. So let to check the codes and see how code works. So start with the uh, uh, first line, which is we use the servo library, we actually define three objects and we label that or uh, call them my servo one, my servo two, and my servo three. So you need definitely three other variables for getting the joystick uh, value x, y, z, and uh, also three variables which is give you the angle angle x, y, and z. So the next one is the state another boolean variable we made here we need this for uh, whenever we want to control the third servo you will see at the end of these codes so stop with setup so in the setup you just use the attach uh, function from the servo library and tell okay the first servo which is my servo one uh, connect connect the signal uh, pins connected to the port pf1 for the second servo connect the signal wire connect to pf2 and the third servo connected to PF3. Which somehow it's uh, these three get the pulse switch modulation signals from these three pins that you have. So take a look to the loop. So as you expect, definitely we need to use three analog read. So we connect the uh, pin X of the joystick to PD0, the pin Y to the PD1, and the pin zero of the joystick to pd2 definitely you use the analog to digital converter and read these uh, three value and save them inside the variable joy x y and z so that means because you use analog read whatever you read from x y z of your joystick there should be a number between zero and uh, 4096 because analog to digital converter in the launch pad is 12 bit so that means we got the value between 0 to 4096 and then save that value inside the uh, joy uh, x, y, and z. So then you actually uh, use one if statement. So the first is, first start with the x. So as I already mentioned, whenever the joystick is in center, so the value that you have on the pin is almost around 2000 for the joystick that I use is the is around 2020 so I give actually one uh, range which is the 50 I actually subtract 20 20 from 50 I get 90 70 and also add uh, 220 with 50 which is I get 2070 I say okay whenever the joystick the value is between these two range which is almost that means whenever the joystick is in the center so what should be happen so the uh, the um, servo one which is the first servo that we use should be on the center right on the 90 degree so that's the reason i put 90 degree here then you give a small um a small actually uh, a small uh, delay so that means uh, here, whenever joystick is in center, you are saying, okay, the first uh, first servo should be on 90 degrees. So this is what we want. So then whenever you have any small value, the smaller than uh, 90, 70, it means you move your uh, joystick from center to the left side, okay? So if you go the farther on the left, you will get the zero. But the, if you just push a little bit, you get the number between uh, in, in this range, which is 90, 70. So that means whenever that value is smaller than 90, 70 to zero, it means you push the joystick on the x-axis to the left side. So what should be happen? So what should be happen in that range? Definitely your servo, first servo number one, should be turn from 90 to 0 but what you have is the value between 90 70 to 0 so that means you should change that so you use the map function that what you see it's changed the range from 90 70 to 0 to 90 to 180 so then you could use the right function so if you have you don't know how right function works please watch our previous videos which is we talk about how you could interface the a servo with the TVASI series launchpad. 
So that means here you change the range to the this range, which is 90 to 80, and write it. So that means whenever you push the uh, joystick to the left side, center to the left, it should be turned from 90 to 180. This is what we want. So the next one, if joystick X is greater than 270, to 40996 uh, so that means you move the joystick on the x axis from center to the farthest point that you could go on the right so in that time the first servo should be moved from 90 to uh, 0 degree right so that's what you reason you just use the map you say change the range to 070 to 4 0, 96 to the 90 and the 0 and just write it so that means whenever you push the joystick from center to the left side to the right side sorry should be changed from 90 to 0 this is what we want so same story for the y-axis for the y-axis in the center again is in the center it is almost uh, again depend on the joystick that you use so whenever the joystick is centered the pin uh, whatever you have on pin y should be around 2000 for my case for my joystick that i have it is actually almost 9080 so i just give one range just uh, subtract 50 plus 50 i got this range which is somehow whenever in this range it means the joystick is on the center so what should be happen? So joystick number two, which is the Y, should be on 90 degree. I just write the 90 degree on that. So whenever you that number is smaller than 90, 30, which is means you are pushing the uh, joystick on the uh, to the forward on the north on the positive Y. So that means in that case, it should be moved from 90 to 180 based on what I use here in the map. So then just uh, write that number on the right, which is it's able to turn from 90 to 180. So similar thing, whenever joy Y is greater than 2030, which is means you push the joystick forward, it should be changed from 90 to 0, and you just write that on the right uh, function. So almost similar thing for the Z, but Z is a little different. So as I already mentioned, for the Z pins on the joystick, whenever you don't uh, push the uh, joystick, it does give you around 3,000 something. But whenever you push that, it gives you a zero. So that's the reason I just consider give one tolerance. I give 500. So whenever this pin is smaller than 500, means you push the switch, okay? You push the joystick. So what should be happen? I start with the state variable. This is global variable. I already put that inside the one inside that. So that means right now the state value is one. Okay. So I push the switch. So what should be happen? The third, the third actually, the third motor, servo motor should be actually moved to the 100, which is somehow grab the object. So that means I say, okay, if a state is 1, which is, is 1, because I put as a global value and initialize that in the beginning of this code, you write 100. So that means you close the, uh, you move the third one, which is somehow grab the object, okay? So then if that's 0, if it states that's 0, you actually move to the 0. So that means you release the object, okay? So, but the next time, because whenever you push one time, it's grab that there is no line that is actually release that. So again, you just here at the end, you just take a note of the state. So that means right now is one. So in this line, it's changed to the zero. But whenever you, next time you push that again, you comes inside this if statement. But this time you just write the zero, which is somehow release that. So that means this line here, whenever you push, it's grabbed object. Whenever you push that again, it's actually release. So this is actually shows how code works. So let you upload the code to the microcontroller and see the codes works or not. Let you do that. We upload the codes. Let to see if it works or not. So I'm actually turn the joystick on the X axis. So you see it's actually able to turn from zero to 180 degrees. So let to check the y-axis so I'm actually pushing the joystick in y-axis so it works so then I actually just push the joystick it's able to control the third one so let's do put the load
So open that and put this load here. So again, check that under the load. So it's able to go any direction. It's actually able to move in the Y axis too. And finally, let's just release the object anywhere that we want. So for example, I'm interested to release here. So it's able to actually release the object. So as you could see, it works. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you like this project.